The call came in early Wednesday morning, a damaged mausoleum at Crown Hill Cemetery in Wheat Ridge. Again, the faceplate had been um, smashed away and was laying on the ground. When Jefferson County deputies arrived, they found so much more than just vandalism. The um, crypt behind that had been um, accessed and the casket that was inside was partially pulled out. And um, upon further investigation, uh, we learned that that body parts from inside of that casket had been removed. Jackie Kelly from the Jeffco Sheriff's Office says investigators have been trying all day to reach this person's family with no luck. This specific scene today is someone who died actually long ago. And so it's been difficult to find family. Until they do find and notify family, investigators and Nine News are not sharing the name on that mausoleum publicly. But the people buried inside lived and died in the early 1900s. It's so disturbing uh, that someone would um, take the steps to, um, to to unearth someone who's been laid to rest um, and um, to do anything to harm um, the body of somebody who's gone um, and how devastating these can be for families. They don't know who did this or why or if anything else was stolen from inside the casket. So many people were saying, who does this? Who does this? Um, for so many reasons, it's absolutely, it's disturbing and it's awful and it's sad. Um, and, and it's a felony charge. Jeffco says whoever did do this will face a long list of felony charges like burglary, abuse of a corpse, and maybe even theft. They're trying to figure out what kind of surveillance is available and if anybody happened to see something, if so, they hope you will give them a call. The cemetery operator, Olinger Crown Hill, called this deeply disturbing and said they are cooperating with investigators, Kim. It is on every single level. It's just so disrespectful. Yeah, it is. It is. These are real people we're talking about, mm -hmm. right? It's just really sad. Heartbreaking. Thanks, Jenny.